In this video, we'll be talking about guidelines for solving related rates problems, and we'll do an example. First, identify the given quantities and the ones you want to find. Next, write an equation relating these quantities. Differentiate the equation implicitly with respect to time, t, and then after differentiating, substitute in all known values. Finally, solve for the required rate of change. The problem that we'll be working with is the radius r of a sphere is increasing at a rate of 3 inches per minute. Find the rate of change of the volume when r equals 9 inches. So what we know, first of all, we know that our radius r is increasing at a rate of 3 inches per minute. We'll show that as the rate of change of our radius. So dr dt, and that is increasing at a rate of 3 inches per minute. So that is a positive 3. We're looking for the rate of change of volume, so we're looking for dv dt. And then we're told that we want the rate of change of volume when the radius is 9. So the radius is 9, but we can't put that in until after we differentiate our equation. Our equation that we're going to use is a volume of a sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. So when we differentiate implicitly with respect to time, we do the derivative of each of the variables and then multiply by that rate of change. So for v, the derivative of v is 1, and then multiply that by dv dt. And all of them will be with respect to time equals, and then both of these factors are constants. So I'm basically taking those constant multiples times the derivative of this factor. And the derivative here will be 3r squared. And then dr dt. Right, now this is the derivative of our equation. Uh, now that I have the derivative done, I can substitute in values. I know that dr dt is 3, so that value is right here. Let me put that in. And I also know I'm looking for dv dt, so um, let's just keep that as the variable dv dt. And then I have 4 thirds times pi times 3 times, and then r, since I have my derivative done, I can substitute this 9 in for r. So I have 9 squared. I'm going to cancel this 3 with this 3. And I have dv dt is equal to 4 times pi times 81 times 3. So that gives me 972 pi. And since it's volume, it's going to be cubic inches per minute. We know it's per minute because our radius was changing at a rate of inches per minute. So this is the rate of change of our volume.